welcome to Wise Guy. This is session for percentage composition of a compound. The percentage composition of compound means we're looking for the percentage for each element in a compound. For example, we Fe2O3 this is the iron 3 oxide so in this compound there are two elements one is iron Fe the other is oxy because in this compound there are two moles of iron three moles of oxygen they make iron 3 oxide, which is one mole. So, again, say in one mole iron 3 oxide, there are two moles of iron and three moles of oxygen. Because they have different molar mass, a different mass, so that's why in total compound, we are looking for the percentage of each element. To do so, the first step is to find the molar mass for each element from period table. For example, to find the molar mass for iron, we, we can check the period table found as 55.85. Right? Iron is 55.85 gram per mole. For oxygen is 16.00 gram per mole. Then we need to calculate the second step. We need to calculate the mass of each element because this is for one mole. There are two mole. That's why we need to multiply by two for this 55.85 grams. And also we need to multiply three for this oxygen. So that's why you have two iron. You can calculate the total is 100, 111, 111.70 grams. And for oxygen, you have three moles. The total equals. 48.00 grams. This is the calculate the mass of each element. After this one, the third step, we can calculate the molar mass of the compound. That's why you have two moles of iron, three moles of oxygen. The total, what is the mass of iron three, iron two, iron three oxide? That's why we add these two numbers together. After find the total mass, which is the molar mass of the compound, and then we can calculate what is the percentage composition of a compound. This is P is percentage, C is composition, the last C is compo compound. Then we use mass of element. So for iron, is 111.7 divide the total molar mass. So let's do on the next page. I set up a table which is more clear. So elements we have Fe and oxygen. The atomic mass for iron is 55.85 gram per mole and oxygen this is 16.00 gram per mole and the mass of element we already calculated 111.70 gram this is a 48 gram okay and total we add equals 
11.70 plus 48 and 0.00, .00 equals to the total we got the we can use calculate get 159.70 this is a gram per mole okay, this is one more iron 3 oxide for the percentage composition of this compound for iron we follow the formula with the top is mass of element more bottom is molar mass of the compound the mass of element is this way 111.70 over this is gram over the total is 159.70 and for oxygen the total still 159.70 grams and the top is 48 Zero, zero. After dividing, we're looking for the percentage. That's why we need to multiply 100%. Right? This is also multiply 100%. Because this is a decimal. Okay? This is total in one mole. This is a part of the compound. So part divided the whole got the percentage. This one we got after dividing, we can find this one is 69.94% and the oxygen is 30.06% and if you add these two, 69.94 with 30.06, just add together, you got the total is 100%, right? So this is the first example. Let's see. Okay, the second example. Find the percentage composition of this is uh, ammonium NH4 ammonium sulfate. So ammonium sulfate, we can see element. We can write the nitrogen, hydrogen, and the sulfur, and the oxygen. The atomic mass for nitrogen is 14. Point, we can check the period table 14.01 gram per mole. For hydrogen, is if we keep four single figures, this is 1.008 gram per mole for sulfur is 32.06 gram per mole for oxygen is 16.00 gram per mole all this information is easy to find from period table and then we calculate the mass of element. From this formula, we can see nitrogen. You have two nitrogen. So multiply by two, this one. This one, multiply by two. Equals two. This equals two is 28.02 grams. And uh, hydrogen, you have 4, 2, and 8. So you multiply 8. For this, you got 8.064 grams. And sulfur, you only have one sulfur. So that's why multiply 1. You still have 32.06 grams. And oxygen, you multiply by 4. You got the 64.00, right? And this is the grams, okay? The total, the molar mass for one mole ammonium 
So fate, you add all of them. 28.02 plus 8.064 plus 32.06 plus 64. So we can use calculate to find the answer 28.02 plus 8.064 plus 32.06 plus 64. You got 132.1. You got 132. Because we keep four single figures, so the next one is four, we drop it. So for one gram per mole, per mole this compound. Then the percentage composition of this compound equals to this one for this one, we use this number, right? Together equal this one, the total. So the bottom the bottom means whole is 132.1 gram. 132.1 gram for each of them. 32.1 gram. The top, this is 28.02 gram. Then multiply 100%, right? And this one is uh, hydrogen. Uh, we use another color and make difference. 0 0.64 grams and multiply 100%. Then this is the answer. And sulfur is 32.06 gram, then multiply 100%. And we have oxygen is 64.00 grams, multiply 100%, right? Okay. Then we can divide it to find the answer, just use calculate to find the answer. You got uh, the first one is nitrogen. You got twenty one point twenty one percent, and uh, hydrogen we got six point one zero four percent, and then we got sulfur. You got twenty four point twenty seven. 24.27% and oxygen we got 48 48.42% 3 yeah. double check the last one because 64 divided 132.1 you got 48.48.45 so then we can check this one uh, uh, yeah sometimes the uh, you mostly you check 21 plus 6 is 27 27 plus 24 is 51, 51 plus 48 is uh, 99, and the rest of them is make one more percent. Sometimes because rounding decimal, sometimes maybe the decimal after that is 100%, 100 point zero. This is a, it is not big deal because this is a, all the percentage mostly correct. Just uh, the rounding problem. Yeah. So this is uh, presented by Wise Guys. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.